So, uh, the undefeated underdogs, uh, talk to me a little bit about getting ready to play this Campo Verde team. Um, what did you guys do throughout the week to prepare for this undefeated Campo Verde team? Uh -huh. We knew we needed to uh, bring a lot of energy and all, all practice and all week. Uh, that's what we've been focusing on. You know, we're just going to come out and uh, hit them in the mouth right from the start and treat them like any other team. Hey, what's going on? You already know what time it is. I got the gifted game guesser. She's uh, making the guest appearance this week. Uh, did the JV game, won. And now we are here at the game of the week. A lot of pressure on her because Campo Verde, I gotta let everybody know, Campo Verde is one of the top eight teams currently in the open eight. They are the undefeated underdogs. They're seven and zero, oh, but they got this tough Higley team at five and two coming in. I wanna know who the sideline chick thinks is gonna win. I am going with Higley tonight. I'm feeling really good about Kai Milner, what he has to offer, so that's my pick. Holy smokes, and there it is. She is picking uh, Higley to win and knock Campo out of the open. And man, if she wins this, I'm gonna be really impressed. You know it's game of the week when this guy's here. Hey, I'm kind of curious, you know, what do you think of this Campo Verde team? I'm calling them the undefeated underdogs right now. If you would listen to the radio show, that's I've been pumping them up uh, as the undefeated team that nobody's talking about. You know, they're not scoring everybody. You know, everybody's saying they haven't played much, but uh, they're a team, they're a unit. You know, some of these teams, they've really just acquired talent and tried to work it together. These guys grew up together. That's what I like about them. They're kind of old school neighborhood team that's kind of grown up. And so for whatever reason, I have a, a liking for those kind of teams. So. We'll see. It's tough. This is our toughest game of the year, so we'll see how they, sh they uh, fare tonight. This is 
matchup of the week. The undefeated underdogs, uh, Campo, they are trailing Higley, 17 to 10 right now. I'm curious, what does Higley have to do to just put this game away? Honestly, they just need to let Kai Milner air it out. I mean, he's been having success so far. They keep doing that. I really think it will eventually get to the secondary of Campo. Welcome back to the Talented group of receivers. I, I see how that could work. Campbell, I think, really needs to get this running game going. The Caden Callaway show needs to take over at some point. Zach Carrera has been really, really impressive in the first half. Um, but man, I, these undefeated underdogs, I don't know if they're going to pull it out. Go, Brand! Go, Brand!
Hey, you said before the game that what you had to do was punch them in the face and get all over them quick. How did you execute that and put 52 points on them? Uh, yeah, you, we know we came into it knowing that they were one of the top teams. So uh, we came in and we knew we had to bring energy, just like I said. And we came out here, smacked them in the mouth, and kept rolling. Early on, it seemed like they had a lot of tenacity and a lot of momentum going on. What really surprised you about them? Um, I mean, they fought to the end. I give them respect for that. Uh, I mean, we just had a little bit too much for them tonight, but uh, they fought, and I respect that. And, you know, I talked to your quarterback before the game. He said that the important thing was you guys smack them in the mouth and get all over them quick. How are you able to execute that in the second half, but not the first? You know, the kids just came through, uh, you know, and, and executed the plays. So this week we talked a lot about poise, and uh, our guys didn't didn't panic and didn't. Uh, I think I panicked more than they did, so they had to call me down at halftime. The undefeated underdogs over there, and you guys put that first loss in their loss column. Um, you know, talk to me a little bit about camp. Oh, anything about them that really surprised you? You know, uh, no, because Coach Ragsdale is a great coach. Uh, they're a really good program. They're 7-0 for a reason. Uh, they can run the ball. They play tough-nosed defense. They hit hard. And uh, as you can see tonight, they don't quit. So uh, beating a good team like that definitely helps. You absolutely broke their back coming out in the second half. What in you said, I'm just going to take this back 90 yards to the crib and let them know what time it is? <laughs> yeah, so it's actually interesting. Last year on JV, this same game, this same field, I broke my collarbone fourth quarter. So this game going in, it was, you know, a redemption week for me. So I knew coming in, I'm going to have to make some plays. We were only up by one, one touchdown uh, before the half. So on that kick return, I just, I, I have phenomenal blocking. I did my job, you know? All right, man. And talk to me about the super special quarterback that you have that found you for another yes, touchdown, uh, Kai Milner. You know, talk to me about that relationship. Yeah, me, me and Kai go way back uh, since freshman year. He's been my quarterback. I think he's uh, the best junior quarterback in the state, if not the best, you know? So he, he's just phenomenal. I, I'm just running my routes. He's putting it where he needs to be. What is your favorite class or who is your favorite teacher? <laughs> Uh, I'd have to say my English class is my favorite class. Uh, Brooke Tyker and Miss Adams. She, they're here tonight. They're the, they're the cheer coaches. So yeah? they're my favorite. Yeah. Finally, you know, it's Halloween time. You know, back in the day, five, six years ago, you were out there trick or treating <laughs> to secure your bag. I want to know what candy you had to get in your bag. I, I, I'm a big fan of Reese's, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, so that's, that's what I think of. All right, and you were in your bag tonight. We got to talk some open talk. Higley wins. Higley beats an open team. Uh, Higley beat Millennium, who I thought was on the outside looking in at the time. What do you think? What do you think about this opportunity for Higley that they've now put themselves in where they beat Campo Verde, probably knocking yeah. Campo out, creating some space, creating some real estate in that open division? If they don't move up, I'll be extremely surprised. Honestly, they, I think they still need those two wins these next two weeks to really get in. But I wouldn't be surprised if they snuck it with two losses, honestly. They're, they've been playing lights out the last all oh, six weeks now. My man Zach over here with the locks like Thor. Hey, I want to know, talk to me about this touchdown that you caught. You're used to chasing quarterbacks around the pocket. You had to become best friends with one tonight. Talk to me about that play. Uh, so like it was a it was a design play for me, a little play action play. So I, you know I went down the line like I was gonna block, took off down the seam and bam. you was fronting. You was fronting. Yeah. You knew you blocking. yeah. You feel me? And then just caught it, and I was in the end zone. We was all celebrating. That's, that's history. That's history right there. What was it like when the ball was in the air, though? Were you worried about dropping it? Were you worried oh, about no, dropping it? Oh, no, no. I, I, got hand, I got hands like a tight end. Come on, come on. Hey, man, so talk to me. You know the experience over here at Camp Alberta. You get the dub, man. Uh, five touchdowns. Five touchdowns, Mr. Five Touchdowns. Any message that you were sending? Uh, I just want a, a shout out to, to Campo for taking my towel. You know, I had two of them. Both of them are gone. So you guys can keep that as a souvenir. Remember this, this game. So.